Okay. Hi, Cynthia. Um, I hope there wasn't too much um, empty space at the beginning of this video. Uh, I just want to quickly go through uh, the new plugin, Final Tiles Gallery, and um, show you how uh, you can upload files and everything else. You'll be a whiz at this in five minutes, but it's just easier sometimes for me to do a video than it is for me to write it out. So uh, your new page, I currently have it as um, on the portfolio page, and it is controlled on the portfolio page uh, with this short code. And so just so you know, that's what's on the portfolio page. So going back to the dashboard here, um, go down to File Tiles Gallery, and if you click uh, the top sub menu there, you'll see uh, right here uh, the collection that I have in your portfolio, those images that you um, sent and put into Dropbox. So um, this icon shows you the short code, but I'm going to show you something goofy real quick. At least this is goofy on my computer. Uh, it may not be on yours, but uh, when I'm working in your final tiles gallery, this is something I have to do. So let me show you here. Um, the panel for this gallery system goes underneath my sidebar. So uh, I have to collapse uh, my dashboard uh, sidebar there to get all of this. And this kind of comes in handy in just a minute, you'll see. So uh, the second icon here is to edit the gallery, the third is to clone it, and the fourth is to remove it. So we're going to edit the gallery, and uh, it brings up uh, this area, and again, there's your short code. Uh, for the most part, these uh, items are already set. What you'll work with the most is going to be this orange tab, which is images. And when that expands out, um, you see some options here. For the most part, uh, you may not need to uh, get into those, at least for the basic parts of it. And so I have it set to where uh, when you upload images, they come in at 150 by 150. And um, I can change that to 300 by 300, but you're still going to have to uh, change the size for every single image. And I'll show you how that works in just a little bit, or else your images would be square. So this seems to be uh, the options that we have. And um, because this is the free version, of this particular plugin, you have a limit of 20 images that you can add at a time. And uh, so if you want to add images, you do it just like you're uh, adding an image to a poster or a page. It can come from the image gallery or you can upload it from your desktop. So, so you get you know the same options here. And then uh, when you pick an image, and I'm going to pick one down here. Um, I'm just going to grab this one and we'll delete it in just a second. But this one is not uh, currently in your gallery. So this will show you what happens when you upload. And you can upload multiples again, but you, it's limited to 20. And so we're going to add the image. It's twirling and thinking up there. Okay. And then uh, we're going to come down here. And so here's the image, and here are the few things that you need to do uh, to work on uh, this image. If you come down here and click the Edit button, okay, then you get the options that you're going to need. Now, this truly says 150 by 150, but again, this panel is still stuck underneath there. And what you want to do is, okay, this... This is not going to be the best example because the image that I chose was smaller than 300. Your images are going to be larger, so always pick the image that says 300 here, okay? Uh, and then it will fit in the grid system that we have put in place. 
And then you can put the name of the image or your caption there. And I've been putting um, a copyright. Oops. Well, this is okay. And then uh, if you wanted this caption to link someplace in your site, you can link it by putting the you know, full path to it there. And this link target is whether you want it to open in the same page, a new window, et cetera. So again, the important thing is select the one that says 300 right there, and then click Save. We've added the caption. Click Save. OK. It's doing its thinking there. And then always be sure to click on this save button down here also, and it saves the gallery. And uh, so I'm going to do that real quick. Saves the gallery. Now, uh, you're interested in being able to move images around. And if you just, uh, let's see, this should drag up here. There we go. Uh, you can drag it and put it any place you want, in any order that you want. And then again, just be sure to click update. Uh, the gallery and uh, everything will be in place. I'm going to show you here just because uh, it's it seems a little goofy, uh, but it's important so that when you click at it, this one says 300 by 350. So always pick, and you'll be given lots of options the larger that your image is. You always pick the one that starts with 300 and um, it will do its best to create the kind of grid uh, that you like. So um, to remove an, an image, just click Remove like that, and it is gone. And then be sure to update your gallery there. And so, you know, that's about it. Anything that you put in here uh, will show up on the portfolio page at this point. And you'll see uh, text. Text is actually on all of these. It's just with the white background, it's hard to see. This will show the size 300 by 199 for this particular image. And you know there is text on all of these. This comes in handy if you take a look. You know, like I uploaded 20 images at one time. I thought I had gone through and changed them all to 300 by whatever. And um, when I looked at your grid, there were some 150 images. So this will help you in some cases, see what the size of your images are. But very simple, very easy. Um, all this comes from uh, Final Tiles Gallery in your control panel. And that is it. Thanks.